Algebra 2. This is Chapter 6, Section 3. This is the second video. Um, this is what to do whenever you're given the roots and you're being asked to write the equation. So you know you're given the roots. So that means that x has to be equal to negative 2 thirds and x has to be equal to 6. Okay, so if I want to work backwards, then I'm going to add 2 thirds to both sides here. So this is going to be x plus 2 thirds is equal to 0. And I'm going to minus 6 from this side and minus 6 from this side. And I know that x minus 6 is equal to 0. From there, I'm going to take my two um, binomials and I'm going to multiply them together. So I'm going to have x plus 2 thirds times x minus 6. That was kind of messy. Let's try that again. From there, I'm going to set that equal to 0. And then I'm going to FOIL. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 6 is minus 6x. 2 thirds times x is plus 2 thirds x. And 2 thirds times 6, so that's 2 times 6 is 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that's going to be minus 4. Then I'm going to combine my like terms. So x squared minus 6x plus 2 thirds. So minus 6 plus 2 thirds. They're the different signs. One's positive and one's negative, so I've got to subtract. So that's a 5 and 3 thirds. And I end up with 5 and 1 third negative. So this is minus 5 and 1 third x minus 4 is equal to 0. And I have successfully written the equation back in standard form. Let's try one more example like that. So if my quadratic has a solution of 1 half and a solution of 5, I take the x and set it equal to 1 half. I set the x equal to negative 5. Then I'm going to subtract 1 half from both sides. And you get x minus 1 half is equal to 0. And you get, add 5 to both sides, x plus 5 equals 0. From there, you want to take your two binomials and multiply them together. So x minus 1 half times x plus 5. FOIL. So x times x is x squared. x times 5 is 5x. 1 half times x is minus 1 half x. And 1 half of 5 is minus 5 halves. From there, I want to combine like terms here, these middle ones. So the x squared is here. 5 minus 1 half is 4 and 1 half. And then minus 5 halves. And equals 0. You could add the equals 0 here and the equals 0 there. And this would be your final answer. If you don't like the fractions in there, you are free to multiply both sides by a, the common denominator. So I could, in fact, multiply this by a 2, and that would get rid of my denominator. So this would become 2x squared. And 4 halves times 2 would be 9, so that would be 9x. And 2 times negative 5 halves would be negative 5 equals 0. And that would be a very acceptable answer there. Sometimes this is the accepted answer, is the answer without the fractions in it. So we can go back to that previous problem and do the same thing there. We've got thirds, so you could multiply through by a 3. So this would become 3x squared. And 3 times 5 and a third, well, 5 and 1 third is the same thing as 15, 16 thirds. So 3 times 16 thirds is just 16, so that would be minus 16x. 3 times 4 is minus 12, and that's equal to 0 because 3 times 0 is 0.